Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on any of the devices I haven't mentioned. So again, it just works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and the 4th generation iPod Touch. And to start off, I'm just going to show you guys that my 4th generation iPod Touch is indeed on iOS 6 by going inside of Settings, General, About and down below here at the bottom for the version, you will notice that it does say 6.0. Right now that I've got that out of the way, I also just wanted to say that this is primarily for developers because this does not install Cydia. It just allows you to have SSH access to your device. So if you're a developer, then you can actually mess around with it that way and you can try and get your applications to work on iOS 6. And also if you're an advanced user, then you can do it that way as well. But keep in mind that you will need to be, again, a registered developer with your UDID registered in order to actually restore to iOS 6. And then from there, you will also need it registered to actually officially download iOS 6. Of course, there are ways to get around that. However, I'm not going to go over that in this video because again, you do have to do everything legally and you do have to download the iOS 6 IPSW from Apple's developer portal. So. Now that I've got that out of the way, you will need to download the latest beta version of Red Snow, and I'll have download links to it for both Windows and OS X on the post, and I'll have a link to the post down below in the more info. Once you have it downloaded, you can open up Red Snow. All right, now once Red Snow is open, you can go ahead and plug your device into your computer. And then from here, we're actually just going to go to extras. And then inside of extras, we just need to go to select IPSW. All right now that this screen is brought up, just go ahead and select your iOS 6 IPSW and it will identify it. And once it's finished identifying it, just click OK to that. All right now that it's identified your firmware, you can go ahead and click back. And then from here, we want to go ahead and select jailbreak. Now it will prepare the jailbreak data and then it will give us some options. All right, as you can see, we have install SSH. We do not have install Cydia because again, as I mentioned, this is primarily for developers because it allows for SSH access so they can try and get their different applications to work on iOS 6. Also, if you're on an iPod Touch, you have the option to enable battery percentage because by default, the iPod Touch does not have a battery percentage indicator. So you can check that if you want if you're on an iPod Touch. So then once you've checked that, you can go ahead and hit next and it will just bring you to a screen informing you about DFU mode. Now, we can actually enter DFU mode ahead of time and this gives you multiple opportunities to try and enter DFU mode if you don't get it right the first time. So what you want to do is first make sure your device is plugged in, then hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds and once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds until this screen bypasses. All right, and there we go. Now that this screen is bypassed, it's actually going to go through the process of jailbreaking the device. All right, and as you can see, it's downloading the jailbreak data right now. And then, like I said, it will finish through the process. Now, I'm not going to cut anything out of this video just so I can show you guys exactly how long each step takes. Okay, there we go. Now this step used to take a while when it would install Cydia. However, because this time we're just installing SSH because again, this is a beta version of Red Snow. It's actually going through and it will be much quicker than before. All right, now we're just waiting on the device to reboot here. While I'm waiting for the iPod Touch to fully boot back up, what we can do is go ahead and close out of Redstone. We want to do this just so that everything refreshes so that when we open it up, we won't encounter any issues. 
All right, and here we go, it has booted up. Now what I wanna do is open up Red Snow again, and we need to boot tethered because this is a tethered jailbreak. So what we need to do first is go to extras and make sure we select our IPSW again. Once we have it selected and identified, just click okay to the message, and then we can go ahead and do the top option, just boot, and then from here it'll bring you to that same screen for the jailbreak. It will just make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. Again, we can bypass this screen by entering DFU mode ahead of time. Time. So, like I said, plug your device in, hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds, and once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for 10 to 15 seconds until it bypasses this screen. All right, and there we go. Now it's just going through and exploding with Lime Rain so it can boot up into its tethered state. Okay, and another thing, like I said, because this is a tethered jailbreak, you will have to boot tethered every time you turn your device off and turn it back on. And because you do not get Cydia, you just get SSH functionality. This is not for your typical user. All right, and there we go, we are booted back up. All right now, you are jailbroken on iOS 6 beta, with the exception of actually having Cydia. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please be sure to rate it up, leave any comments down below in the comment section, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. Of course, I will have complete coverage on the jailbreak situation for iOS 6, and I will also have jailbreak tutorials. So until next time, this is ICU, signing out.